Hi guys, I'm Ellie, the Heart of England Learning and Skills Intern. And I'm Tasha, the Biodiversity Intern. Here at the Heart of England Forest, we're aiming for a 30,000 acre natural woodland. Currently, we're at 7,000 acres, 600 of which are mature and ancient woodland. But we have a nice mosaic of habitats here, so we include all wildlife. So today we're going to be making bird feeders, as we think it's really important to look after our wild birds. So I'm just going to show you what we're using today. So we've got a bowl of wild bird feed. So I'm just doing it in a packet bowl. It's got a good mixture of different bird feed in there. Bird feed, sorry. We've got, I'm using um, suet, but you can also use um, gelatin. I've seen it done with, and you can use other alternatives. A yogurt pot for your mould, or you can use an alternative pot. Any pot is really good. And Tasha's got a pine cone here, which is like an alternative way that she's going to do it. And I've also got some really cool cutters. So if you want to make some quite funky shapes, you can do that. Or you can just stick with the original mould. So should we start making them, Tash? Yep, let's get stuck in. So with my one, I'm literally just going to be very messy. So I've got my bird seed in there, and I'm just going to pour a good amount in there. And then I'm going to give it a good mix. So you just want to give it a good mix. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you can do this with a fork, or you can yep. just get your hands your in hands. there. I know some of the kids get out a bit there messy. like to get messy. So Tash, our wild birds are really important to the UK. So why do we need to be doing this? Is it just, you know, over winter or all year round? So a lot of our bird species are actually declining at the moment due to a lack of habitat to where they can get their food naturally. So especially in urban areas, it's a good idea to put some food out. When you do start doing this, though, it's something you need to keep up with. So you want to be doing it all through the winter, ideally, because it adds a nice food source for these animals where they can get their energy from. So it's good to keep it up all year round and support our, our wildlife. And also, guys, as well, with these, you can also do, um, you can use different types of seed, can't you, for specific birds? Yes. You can put mealworms yeah. in them. I've seen some done with fruit. So it doesn't have to be like this. There's lots of different alternative ways. Some of, some of our birds don't necessarily eat that much in the way of seeds. Yeah. So adding some mealworm in will include a lot more of your garden species that you're likely to have. Um, specifically, robins, they like, they like mealworm. So that's a nice thing to have in your mix if you've got some. It's not necessary. And I think definitely doing a mix is good because then you're reaching Yeah, you're birds, reaching all the different you? types of birds. Yeah, like Finches them. prefer different types of seed to other birds like blackbirds. So it's good to have a nice variety because then you're covering a lot more of your species that you're likely to see. And I guess as well, it's good for sort of bird spotting in the garden, isn't it? Because you're starting Definitely, to yes. It's yeah. a really good time to sort of spot your birds and see what you've got. So if you put your area. feeder somewhere that you can see it from your house, you'll be able to see all sorts of birds and wildlife that are visiting your garden. So it might not be that it's just birds that come and feed on these. You might get some small mammals. You might have little mice come in to visit. I just want to show you guys that I've done mine. So I've got it in the yogurt pot. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pen and put a little hole in it. And that means that when it's dry, it enables you to put a bit of string through it. So you can just pop it out of your mould. And what I tend to do is I put it in the fridge. And you say in about half an hour to an hour, that'll actually be solid. To show you the one I made earlier, which I used a cool little butterfly mould. And you can see it makes quite a nice shape, but you could only do that if you've got the cutters. Or alternately, you can do one like Tash, who has made a pine cone. As you can see, what she's done is she's just rolled her um, pine cone in the suet and in the seeds. And that makes a really nice like, looking object to stick outside. And what you do is you just put a bit of string around the top. Try a little tight knot around the very top part, or you can use a couple of the underneath the seed sheaths just underneath. Make a nice tight knot and then a big loop and try another knot at the top. And then you can hang it from a tree or somewhere in your garden. Have you got any good ideas for hanging places? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really good enrichment as well, this one. So not only that is that the birds have to work more for this, so it's more of just an easy access for food. They've got to actually think about how they're going to get it. So they've got to get in there. It's a much more natural way. Um, so anywhere, like hanging off a tree, off of a shed, off of um, maybe a hanging basket hanger or something like that. And even if you've got a small garden, guys, these are really good because, like you say, you can put them anywhere. You can put these out and leave these out and they'll be fine to leave them until they're eaten and then you can just keep remaking them and keep your birds happy. So you can use the same mould or different moulds, get really um, adventurous with it. You can keep refilling the same pine cones, so you can just keep using the same one over and over again. Thanks for joining us guys and check out our YouTube channel for more videos that we'll be doing over the summer. Why not tag us in any pictures of any of these types of things that you make yourself? Bye guys! Thanks guys, bye!